welcome to our final performance of our summer camp. This is a great turnout. Uh, while I'm talking, you can switch your phones to silent or off or whatever, so they won't go off during the show. Uh, this is our fourth summer. We've had recreation uh, uh, camp in the summer, and it's been great. We really have so many more kids this year. It's been a real great turnout. We have a lot of energy they brought to us. Uh, and my, I think it's still hotter outside than in here, so we're not opening those doors. It's still going to make it worse. Um, so I apologize for the heat. Um, and we, so this year we have these two new plays written for us by playwright Peter Floyd, who is here with us tonight. Today I talked to the kids about what it means to write plays and so on, so it's really interesting. So we, uh, he wrote these plays tailored to our needs, which is a really, really cool thing, which we really appreciate it. Um, one thing, I forgot to put in the program, after I printed out the program, I remembered I forgot to to credit me, Avery, who did the drawing for the flyers and the program. Thank you. Thank you. Very talented artist, and she coordinated all the set painting and so on, too. Um, and Harvick uh, Community Television is recording this. It will be on their uh, their station and also on their website later. So if you have friends and family far afield who weren't able to see the show, uh, we'll send up that URL to families. If you're not a family of somebody in the show, Talk to somebody who is to say, let me know and you know that you're out. Okay. Um, uh, very important thing to know that several of the roles are played by more than one person. So if there's somebody, and later there's a different person, but they're wearing the exact same clothes, it's the same character. So I think you'll be able to figure out. Okay. Um, uh, the, the fire exits, if you need to, are there and exit over here, and we'll throw open that door if we need to. Uh, there's a bathroom in the back. And I will just say, when you turn the light switch on, it makes a fan go on, which is pretty loud when there's a play going on. So if, if you need to use it during the show, just go and close the door and then turn it on, and make sure you turn it off before you come out. Uh, people sitting near there especially will appreciate it. Uh, some of our cast have nice loud voices, some of them have not so loud voices. So, you know, hear them the best we can. Um, uh, uh, the Nightmare Queen is about 25 minutes, then we'll have a little intermission while kids get their costumes changed and we can change the set around. And we can go get a brush of fresh air and anything. If it cools off by then, we'll open that up. Um, and uh, we will be doing this camp every year, as far as I know. And the next, we always got a community theater does a show every year. This year's show will be a musical. Uh, which musical it is is not determined yet, but we're, we're deciding on a few, a few choices. So if you're interested in that, if you're involved in the camp, you'll be automatically on our, on our mailing list. You'll know about things. And if you're not, then uh, let me know if you want to be added to the mailing list and when there's auditions and things like that. I think that's everything. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, so this 
to a fish, maybe, not to anybody who doesn't have fins. I mean, who thought you guys could be scary? The queen, of course. The queen? What queen? The nightmare queen. Who was that? Uh, the nightmare queen. The queen, you know, the mother's the one that created us. She must be pretty new on the job, then. Oh, no, she's been the queen for as long as we can remember. Really? Because, no offense, but you guys are about as scary as a kitten video. I don't think your queen knows what she's doing. Oh, yeah, my aunt. Oh, yeah, my aunt. She's creating some dream comics with the three you have to get. Yes, like the Midnight Axeman or Dr. Bone. Don't forget, this is a child. Shut up, you zombie chiller. <laughs> Excuse me, can we just... 
Joe. Not like that. We are in a serious discussion of protocol. No, you're just wrong. Chamberlain's clearly outranked Chancellor. After all, their name comes first, alphabetically. That's a ridiculous argument. Of course it does. Of course it does. I'll show you. Let's get a dictionary. Look, can't you just take just us? Just a moment. We have to settle this. Back in five minutes. Make it ten. Ten minutes. <laughs> How do we do that? Well, if we all close our eyes and say, I wish the queen were here, and look, here she is. Hello, your majesty. Hello, your majesty. Somebody says hello, your majesty. Whatever. <laughs> your majesty, we're we not interested. We brought with us. Couldn't care less. I thought it could help. Yawn. Wow, what a pill. Who's the twerp? Oh, this is Cash, Your Majesty. She had some great ideas for nightmares. Sorry, was impressed. And you thought what? That her idea is better than mine? Well... You don't think I can come up with scary ideas on my own anymore? You didn't say that, Your Majesty. You're very annoying. Go away! Oh, Your Majesty. Wait, she says leave and you all just leave? That's what it means to be queen, Kiddo. That's just ridiculous. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, you can stay. I can? Sure. But the rest of you, goodbye. Oh, uh, okay. Goodbye, <laughs> Yeah! What's up? You have some good ideas for that. Um, yes. First, there's. Great. There. Now you're the queen. Wait, what? You're now the queen of nightmares. Through the richness of your imagination, you can create creatures that will terrify the life out of sleeping people all over the world. It's a tremendous honor, and I'm sure you'll be great at it. At it, we have good luck. I'm out of here. But I don't know what to do. It's easy to do. All you have to do. All you have to do. It's easy peasy. All you have to do. It's easy peasy. The crowd does all the work for you. All you have to do. What's Listen, I've been here. Listen, I've been the Nightmare Queen for over 6,000 years. Sure, it was fun for the first few centuries, but now I'm going to cheer. And other, there was nobody to ever take my place. The people around here are so unhappy, too. But here you are, young and bright and full of fair day. You haven't even heard any of my ideas yet. Well, I'm sure they're great. The point is, I'm out here. I'm off to what they call, I'm, I'm off to what I hear is the most wonderful place on Earth these days. I understand that everyone, young and old, would love to visit Atlantic City. <laughs> but, but I don't know what to do. It's easy peasy. The crowd does all the work for you. Just imagine something wonderfully horrible, and if you concentrate hard enough, the thing will appear. And once it's loose, it'll be ready to go into people's rooms. Got it? No. <laughs> Good. I'm out of here. Atlantic City, here I come. But how do I get home? Me? <laughs> Twitter, not your team, like, fam. We stand whoever we like. 
Um, yes. Very nice work. Well done. Okay, you three can go. Yes, Your Majesty. And don't buy your axe and go on the way out. No, Your Majesty. Save that stuff for drinks. Good job, kids. I need you the stuff. I'm not sure I do, actually. Sure you do. Your monsters were great. I have to admit that after 6,000 years on the job, I get a bit rusty. So it's good to have someone come in with some fresh new ideas. It makes me remember why I became the nightmare king. Now I know I gave you the crown, so technically you're the queen now. But if you ever get tired of it and you want to give it back, take it. Thanks. But listen, if you ever want to come on and talk over some scary ideas, I'd be glad to have you back in my palace. You could be my assistant queen. Yes, I'd love that. Great, now I'll finish business. Hello, Your Majesty. Good to have you back. Never mind the flattery. Bring me out of loser nightmares. Yes, yes, Majesty. I was kind of stuck in a mouth for a while, and I came up with some lame nightmares. But now that I have you to inspire me, I can get rid of them. Here they are, Your Majesty. Ooh, yes, look at you. You wouldn't frighten a baby cancer. What was I thinking? You're also pathetic. Look me, not pathetic. Oh, yes, you are. Well, sorry about this, folks, but I'm going to have to erase you from existence. No, Your Majesty, please. Sorry, but I have to do this. You're just not scary enough to be good nightmares. Yes, they are. They are? Just look at them. They're terrifying. <laughs> the software bug can mess up all the programs in your laptop. I've heard my dad say that's a real nightmare. That's right. <laughs> and check out the wear terrier. <laughs> are you looking at a human being or an incredibly annoying yapping dog? I don't know. I can't tell. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real nightmare. That's right. <laughs> and there's the zombie. The zombie is... <coughs> a fish eater? Yes, a fish eater. So the zombie is a real nightmare if you happen to be a fish. That's right. You know, you make a good case. I do? No, not really, but you obviously care about this very I'll try them if you come visit your drinks. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Zombie says thank you, Your Majesty. And now, Cass, it's time for you to go home. It's almost morning and dream time is nearly over for you. But I don't want to go yet. I'm afraid you have no choice. Day drinking is the end of dream, but you can come back tomorrow night. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Cass. Goodbye. Goodbye, my dear, dear friends. I mean, Zombie says goodbye. <laughs> My girl was queen. Well, she was never really the queen. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Shut up! All right, Cass, ready to go? I think so. All you have to do to get back to your room is close your eyes and say, she doesn't have to do anything with the surf. I just have to snap my fingers.
Sorry. I need to hide here for ten minutes. Five minutes. That's all. Come on, Caroline, please. I need to get away from Cat for a bit. What are you? What are you? I don't swear. Or else I swear. Oh, put her in a box. <laughs> or else I swear I'll commit sister side. Sorority side. Never mind. What's Cat doing? Cat is being Cat. She's telling everybody all these stupid stories of every embarrassing thing I've ever done. I swear I'm gonna put her in a box and mail her off to the Amazon jungle if she keeps this up. What are you reading? Oh, this? It's, um... Is it something like Harry Potter? No, it's not like Harry Potter. It's for adults. So, like, Game of Thrones, then. My parents won't let me watch it, but I've watched about 20 minutes of it once when I was at my girlfriend's house. It's awesome, but totally gross. No, it's not like Game of Thrones. It's great that this reunion thing is at your place, because whenever you get bored of everything, you can just come up to your room and chill and have some me time. Yes, that would be nice. <laughs> Me, I have to stay here until my parents decide to go back to the hotel. I'm so bored. All the adults are talking about are things they did a million years ago when they were kids. It's so snore-worthy. Remember when I used to sit around and watch paint dry? I don't want to hear him. Talk about putting the doll in an adult. I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> Do you think we'll be like that when we're that old? Probably. Then just shoot me now, because I don't want to go to be that way. I just texted Nessa to meet us up here. You did what? I could tell she was getting kind of bored down there, so I told her where all the cool people were. <laughs> don't worry, I told her not to tell Kat. <laughs> No offense, but I came up here to read in my room by myself. We won't mind if you read. <laughs> Come in. You were supposed to be your sister. I really don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Vanessa, anyways? Vanessa? I don't know. Somewhere? Hey, William. Hey, Caroline. What are you doing here? This is supposed to be a girl's only hangout. Then how are we supposed to talk behind people's backs if they're right here? You're going to talk about them behind my back? Well, kind of. No, but not in a bad way. We couldn't be saying, that William, he's such a great guy. You know, we're so glad he's our cousin. You know, all that good stuff that you wouldn't want to hear. If you were talking about how great a guy I was, I'd want to hear that. No, you are so missing the point. Do you want something, William? Oh, yeah, I actually just finished the book I was reading. Whenever I go somewhere, I usually try and bring along enough books to get me through, but this time I ran out. Hey, I read books. Since you're pretty much the only other one of us who reads books, uh, I thought you might have something I could borrow. Hey, I read books. For fun, not just for school? I mean, kind of. Does 17 count? No. Mm -hmm. What were you looking for? I've got fantasy, classics, teenagers. Do you have any science fiction? But I like hard science fiction. I've got a regular time. That is not science fiction. It is. It's got space travel and alien races and stuff. Yeah, but there's no science behind any of that. I'm sorry to interrupt, but can you guys talk about something that's more interesting to human beings? I might as well be back downstairs with the adults. Hey, Shelly, what's going on in here? Doesn't anybody knock? I knock. <laughs> Ignore them. What's going on? It's a total crap fest, actually. My dad and your dad are having some kind of political argument, and it's a mess. I had to get out of there before it started to hit cold with them. Why do adults argue about such meaningless things? What about Kat? What's she up to? Saying stuff about you. She said she did. I was on the phone. She was reading off the names of every single boy you have on there. Oh my god, really? No. As I saw her, she was crying to see how many malabars she could cram into her mouth. Oh my god, Nessa, don't do that to me! Nessa can be totally evil when she's in her mood. I am not evil. It is not Vanessa, it's Nessa. I cut the ball. Nessa is dumb. No, it's not. But I want to be called. Should I start calling you Billy Boy? No, because my actual name is William. 
Looks like your actual name is Vanessa. Hey, she should be called what she wants to be called. I have to agree with that. Things should be called what they are. Like, fantasy should be called fantasy and not science fiction. Well, this room happens to be called Caroline's room, so Caroline should be the only person in here. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you acting all upset? You're the one who invited me up here. I didn't. Shane did. Oh, I thought you were just crossing along the general room, but that's why I told Seth. You told Seth to come up here, too. <laughs> I may have. Hey, y'all, what do you know? Caroline's room is where the party is. It's not a party. Sorry, Caroline, but it totally is. If people start dancing, I'm going to leave. What's amazing <laughs> is that none of the adults have noticed where all of us kids have gone. Some of them have. Mom asked me, do you know where that sister of yours has gotten to? You didn't tell her, did you? I just told her you and Nessa were off sticking up a banker committing arson or something like that. Ooh, now there's an idea! I'm not 100% convinced you're joking. Well, then you're in my room. Go for it. Caroline's making this feel unwelcome. I think that's kind of rude. Don't worry, Caroline. We won't get up and run out too much. Mind if I sit? My God! Tell me it's not Caroline. I mean, <laughs> it's not Cat. Oh, thank God. Of course, I'm here with Cat, but you didn't ask me that. Funny, <laughs> <laughs> Shane. You should see your face. No, you shouldn't see it. It's so big and ugly. Okay, now it's scissor side time. Scissor side. Close enough. Fred, what do you want? Mom and Aunt Wendy were wondering where all the rest of you were, so they sent us to find out. And my name's not Brad anymore, I told you. It's not? No, just like you, Vanessa, he's decided to change his name. That's absolutely your right, Brad. Or not Brad. What's your name now? Berman. That's <laughs> what? Call me Berman. Okay. You have to do it, Vanessa, because that's what he wants to be called. Put your money where your mouth is. It's like his heavy metal name because he's totally into metal now. It's not heavy metal, it's grindcore. I don't know how many times I have to tell you they're totally different. And that's not why my name is Berman now. It's like Berman. That's all. Berman, 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 you are jumping on the bed. I think Berman is an awesome name. <laughs> you would. Now that you know. Where we all are. You can go and tell Mom now. Uh-uh, I want to stay in here where it's safe. All the adults are mad at each other now. Don't tell me they're still going on about politics and stuff. Not just that, all kinds of stuff. My mom wanted your dad were going at about having to put out about real estate, I think. And uh, Sandy and your other dad were going at it about something she said to him back when they were both in middle school. Oh my god, have I mentioned how much I hate parents? Yeah, because you never fight about anything. Hey, I fight over things that are important, like boys, bands, and boy bands. <laughs> it's like a walking stereotype. Says Mr. Science Fiction Geeky Guy. I am not just a science fiction fan. I also have other interests. I also play the clarinet. Not <laughs> having your piece there. What do you mean? For me, it's not what they're arguing about. I mean, people's opinions will go down to changes. I get that. But the family gets together what? Once a year? And what we do, they start squawking like a bunch of, well, teenagers. They're all old and stuff. By the time people are adults, they should act like it. But uh, don't worry about it. But I do worry about it. Is that what happens when you get old? All you can do is argue with your family? That's not all you do. No, I know that. But I wonder, is that going to be us in three years? Whenever we get together, we're going to argue about the stuff we've always argued about? No, but then we'll have come up with a whole lot of other crap to argue about. <laughs> I'm kidding. Are you though? I think so. This is great. We should make a pact to never argue about such ridiculous things. It's not really what I... I don't know what you're all complaining about. We're all fighting now anyway. Why should that change? Something we should get over as we get older. You know, maturity, right? I hope to never get mature. Too boring. You're not gonna get more mature, Shane. You're just gonna get old and fat. Shut up, rat face! <laughs> See, right there. Shane, do you think we'll be calling time a rat face when you're both in your 40s? If she keeps acting like a rat
that page, she won't make it till her 40s. No, but you see my point, right? Caroline, what do you say? Well, if you want to know what I think, then... If it's about how you want us all to leave your room, we got it. Believe it or not, that's not what I was going to say. I think that we should... It's Dad. Hey, Dad. Yeah, we were all up in Caroline's room, just kind of hanging out. Okay, you got me. We're actually staging a coup. We'll release our hostages if we meet our demands. Okay. Right. Okay. Bye. We all have to go down there so they can take some big picture of us. Big? <laughs> and then there will be board games! Yeah. No. Please tell me those are optional. What's wrong with board games? You gotta love Sellers of Catan. Actually, you don't. <laughs> It'll probably be Pictionary. Unless you all are some hungry, hungry hippos. That's stupid. That's a kid's game. Unbelievably, I agree with Dark Face here. I, for one, plan to argue a movie night for, as option B. Who's up for Twilight? No. Uh, hey, can we get back to what we were talking about? This is important. I think you mean this is boring. Ugh! You guys are totally proving my point. You're all just acting like a bunch of kids. Well, what do you want? You want us to just join hands and sing Kumbaya? Get real. What is Kumbaya anyway? People have different interests and different opinions. It's like that when we were 15 and when we were 45. Just get over it. I'm not saying that people shouldn't have different opinions. I'm just saying that they should express them without having to be rude or mean about it. Kumbaya, is that even English or is it French? <laughs> okay, so our parents are French. They're not being mean about it and neither are we. Kumbaya is French for shit is ugly. Shut up, rat face. <laughs> More or less. Seriously, Vanessa, what's got you so worked up? My name is Vanessa. It's Vanessa. I've told you that over and over again, and you still don't do it. Why can't you just be nice and call people what they want to be called? It's like, it's just basic respect. It's like saying you're not who you say you are, you're who I say you are, and you might as well not even exist. Why would you do that? Like, you've known someone for years, and suddenly you, you decide that some other people are cooler, and you'd rather hang out with them. So the person who was your best friend for your whole life and everything, you suddenly forget about her and pretend she's not there. And you don't care what she might be feeling unless she feels like she was put into an emotional blender or something. All that matters is that you get to hang out with a girl who wears the most expensive clothes and have the newest iPhone. And she should hate you, she wants to hate you, but she can't. She still remembers all the fun things you used to do together. Oh, Jenny, stupid, stupid Jenny. I'm sorry, Nessa. For the record, while well, I do want you to call me Berman, I'm not going to start crying if you know it. Jenny? Jenny and Martin, we're best friends. Ex best friend. Since kindergarten, we used to hang out all the time. Now some of you were in high school and just decided I'm not cool enough for her anymore. So she won't talk to me or answer my text. High school girls are the worst, and I say that as a high school girl. Yep, you're the worst though, right? <laughs> Shut up, Kat. I once made Maria Sanchez cry for wearing the wrong shoes. In my defense, I felt guilty, and afterwards I sat next to her at lunch. Then I shared my Siggy's yogurt with her. Wow, aren't you the nicest person? Hey, who you sit next to at lunch is a big deal. Don't sweat it, Nessa. People do all kinds of strange things in school, but they grow out of it eventually. Do they, though? Look at our parents. They argue all the time. That's just what siblings do. But that is all the time, too. They're our siblings. Sure they do, but they're not going to break up. They'll you be together forever. You don't know that. I thought Danny and I would be friends forever. Anything can happen. Mm. You know it could. We're a family, and mm. when you're a family, you have different rules. What do you mean? Look at us. Are we the type of people you hang out with at school? No. We all like different things, talk about different things, listen to different things, whatever. Actually, both me and Nessa really like Kesha, but I get your point. I'm gonna look at Vernon here. Do you think he's me and your brother? No way. He's annoying, he listens to crap music, and he spends way too much time with that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that. But he's my brother, so for as long as he lives, 
I've got his back and he's got mine. And you're my cousins, so same goes for you. Even if I only see you once a year. Sure. 